What's up, Love Church? Pastor Mike here, sitting down with Pastor Todd and Denise. Let's go. And we are so grateful to be with you on Vision Sunday. Let's Come go. on. And uh, we know some of you have been with us for 15 years, some of you 15 weeks, and for others of you, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're so grateful that you're here. And uh, we just wanted to take a minute and share a little bit of vision of where we've been, who we are, and where we're going. And we like to say this, that without vision, the people will perish. Right. We say it's un unkind to be unclear. Clarity is caring, and so that's what we're doing. So we're just good. sitting yeah. down, and uh, we just wanna be as clear as we can. And uh, I'm really grateful to be sitting down with you guys. And today, I just wanna talk a little bit about our one, two, five, man. Let's maybe yeah. start right there. What's our motivation? Like, why, why are we doing what we're doing, PT? Yeah, it's so good for those of you that are new. You know, Denise and I left Fort Lauderdale in 2008. Isn't it wild to think about Easter 2008, we get here, it's like 20 below zero and uh, we just sent it. And we just had a heart. And really that's the motivation for people to experience God's best for their life. We were radically saved and we just wanted to give our life away and see as many people as possible experience what we get to experience. It's so good because it's not just something you guys teach, it's something you carry. And the Beautiful thing is I've been able to walk with you and it's so true. Like you just, this, you carry this heart wherever you go so beautifully. Uh, Denise, I wanna ask you like, so transitioning to our mission. Yeah. So PT just hit our motivation. What's our mission yeah. here at Love Well, Church? you'll hear it said like this, love God supremely so that he can love people supernaturally through you. And so our mission is that we would teach and train people to do just that, get with God and watch him do crazy things through you with other people. It's where we get the electric pink. Boom. Yeah. Come yeah. On, throw it up Boom. right now Boom. in the auditorium. <laughs> throw that thing up. That's right. Isn't it true though? We sometimes overcomplicate yeah. Christianity. Yeah. I'm thankful for a simple vision. It's, it helps a guy like me that's had a lot of concussions. And, uh, <laughs> but so that's our motivation, our mission. And we started asking the question, if this is what we're called to, mm -hmm. what does it look like? Yeah. What does a life look like that's actually walking that out? And that's where we get our method. Well, you, you just nailed it. We really took inventory of when we're healthy and we are flowing in this whole idea of the vision, number one, and we're surrendered. And so many of you, you've surrendered your life to Christ. You know, there's that day one but it's not just day one, Mike, right? It's day two, three, four, and every day. Yeah. Cause I don't know about you, but I'm 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 on my mind when I wake when I wake up. I'm like, yo, I, I want me to be driving the car. It's like, no man, kill me, feel me, send me, right? Surrender every day. So it starts number one, surrender. Yeah, in order to live the five S life. <laughs> It's not going to happen if the first one doesn't take place That's first, right. That's right. which leads us then into the second one, which is a key, key component to walking this life out. And that's being surrounded. Mm -hmm. You know, for us at Love Church, you're going to hear us talk a lot about this, you know, church, groups and outreach. And it's all within the 5S framework. But this idea of being surrounded is incredibly powerful. One of my favorite quotes is the atmosphere you permit decides the product you produce. So you true. say this all the time that we're becoming like the five people that we run with. It's so true. And Jesus's command to us was to go therefore and make the disciples, right? Yeah. Teaching them to obey all the commands. And this is what happens uh, when we get surrounded. So good. Yeah. Now after that, so we've got surrendered, surrounded. Now spirit led, I know <laughs> this is your heart, come on. I love this one. And we keep it simple and say in Galatians, it says, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. And you might be like going all the way back to surrender. They kind of go hand in hand. If I'm willing to seek out Holy Spirit and, and invite him into my day, he's gonna handle all of the things. They really go with the mission, love God first, right? And invite Holy Spirit in. The idea of being um, spirit led is really just dying to self. And that's not always fun when you're dealing with the people you're surrounded by, like you just mentioned. So, it's, so it's, it's asking and yielding. It's asking Holy Spirit, how would you guide me? And it's yielding our hearts to him and walking in obedience to it. It's so good. You know, a couple years ago, PT, uh, a businessman sat down with you. And by the way, shout out to all of you that are running businesses for the glory of Let's God. Go. Yeah. But a businessman sat down with you and said, hey, Pastor Todd, you know, there's so many churches in the city. Yeah. What's your value add? Yeah. And I just love that question, right? Yeah. It's why we do Vision Sunday, right? We're, yeah. we're trying to communicate who we are, but I love uh, this fourth ask. Can you, can you share it with well, me? Well, we call it self-fed. And really all that means is every single person that, that God calls to the church, we're challenging. Get to know God in your own Bible one day at a time. Yeah. And for us, we do it systematically right now. You know, we're through the Bible in four years game plan. It's a daily reading. And so we challenge everybody, man. Like, don't, don't, 
Don't lean on just your pastor or your small group leader, man. Like get in your own Bible yeah. every single day. So good. So we've got surrendered, surrounded, spirit led, self fed. And here we go. Number five, say it with me if you know it. Sent. Sent, right? And I know that this is something that you guys are incredibly passionate about. And uh, really the challenge is to now we, we fill up so that we can go out and make a difference, right. Right? right? The church doesn't exist for us. We're the church and we exist for the world. That's and it. love church because we're in Omaha, Nebraska, Omaha ought to flourish a little bit more mm -hmm. because we're being sent on mission. And I love that we start here with who we are because so often we can get caught up in where we're going and metrics and statistics. And we celebrate those things because Absolutely. we believe behind the statistics are stories right. and lives being changed. But I want you to know, Love Church, that no matter where God takes us, this is who we are. It's, a, it's been this way for 15 years, and it's gonna continue to be the vision here at Love Church on who he's called us to be. Yeah. So that's a little bit about who we are, but I wanna take a minute and just celebrate. Let's just take a second and celebrate. And I know for you, there's there's something that you really wanna celebrate that God's done this year in our house. Well, it's it's really, again, if, if he said, go make disciples, right? And just Love Church, thank you for being on mission. And what we've seen this year has been miraculous. You know, close to 200 salvations on weekend encounters in Omaha, Nebraska, Elkhorn South, crazy. Uh, about 700 online. So we're talking decisions for Christ. There's about a thousand souls added to his kingdom in 2023 right. through us as a local church. And to me, that's where it starts. And you know, you have a ton of baptisms, uh, first time group attenders, Mike, I think we're over 700, something like that. So to me, it's it blows my mind to see what God has done just in this past year, as we just, again, take shots downfield, steps of faith. It's so good. And I, I just wanna transition to you for a second to celebrate. We've really tried to re-emphasize love out loud That's this right. year. And God has just been, it's been moving so powerfully. Yes. We've added Tara and our team and really you church, you've gotten really engaged. And in so many incredible ways this year, you've showed up. Just in the last few months, I'm just gonna celebrate a couple of things. In the last few months, we, we set goals. And it's funny because we were basing those goals off last year, 400 backpacks for our back to school bash, where we went out to North Omaha and really were able to engage in that community. Y'all brought over a thousand backpacks. Let's go, come on, let's people. go. It's amazing what God can do through willing people. And then just this last month in October, we had over a thousand people on our campus to celebrate an alternative to Halloween and teaching kids different stories of the Bible. What? And it was freezing and a thousand people came out. So it's been so fun to watch El the Elkhorn South Campus grow in loving the community out loud. It's so good. Yeah. Hats off to you guys. Thank you. Even right now. Come on, let's just give God a praise yes. right here Absolutely. in the auditorium for a while that he's done this year. And again, behind every statistic is a story. And here's what we want to tell you. We've got a special encounter for you coming up uh, on New Year's Eve online exclusive where we are going to recap the entire year in more detail and share some stories. So more on that to come. But we've talked about a little bit about who we are, what God has done this year, but we wanna just take a moment and we wanna talk about the 2024 strategic plan. Yeah. I mean, what is God inviting us into as we continue to carry out this mission? I know many of you are asking that question right now. And so I want to start first with the Elkhorn South Campus, Denise, and just a couple of initiatives yeah. that we've been praying uh, through for 2024. Yeah, I, I think the most exciting one for every bit, everybody that's been participating in our Love Kids ministry, we're adding two classrooms upstairs because <laughs> The, I, you guys just keep multiplying. We're so excited Be about that. Multiply. Come on, it's a command come in the back, Bible. Back. You're bringing being, your neighbors, yeah. your friends. Yep. We're so glad. So we're gonna we're gonna work on that in the next year, and we're so excited that we'll have two more classrooms to host. And it obviously blesses all of here as they're participating and using our space as well. They're yeah, working. yeah. And so the second thing that's gonna happen at the Elkhorn South Campus, or something we're we're praying through, is just debt reduction. That's yeah. right. How many of you know? I mean, look around right now. Look at this <laughs> incredible building that we have to steward, to host people. And it's, we count it such a privilege, yeah. right? But man, this thing was a step of faith. Come on somebody, yeah, middle, COVID. Nine middle of COVID. Like we called the nine route and so many of you have uh, sown faithfully into what God has done here. And we say, thank you for that. But we're just believing that yeah. this is gonna be a year where we can continue 
to attack some of that debt. The next campus that we want to uh, share a, a little bit of vision around is our Love Church online Come campus. On. And a couple things that we've really just language that we've kind of landed on around this whole campus is using this language, digital mission. That's right. Yeah. Like these different uh, platforms that God has invited us to participate on are really mission fields. That's right. And we're just called to be digital missionaries wherever he's taken us. A couple of things that we want to celebrate with you is our partnership with pray.com. Yeah. This is an incredible partnership uh, where we're going to have the opportunity to share what God is doing right here in Omaha, Nebraska, all around the world. There's over 15 million people that have downloaded that app. There's yeah. 6 million active users. Oh, and by the way, a lot of people that are on this platform are actually searching and asking asking questions about who Jesus is. I think that's gonna be really exciting Huge. for us, church. And then the, the third piece to this campus would just be team additions. Obviously, it really is a campus and, and we wanna continue uh, to support our online pastor, Pastor Cap Chatfield and Come his leadership. Come on, job, yeah. so grateful for what God has done through him this year. But we're believing that God is raising up people to come around him so we can continue to move that vision forward. I wanna kick it over to you, PT, yeah. on some expansion. Let's go, right. yeah, I mean, this is something that is near and dear to my heart. You know, we've been praying about this for several years. Lord, where's the next campus? And so, uh, I want to share with you guys in 2024, we're targeting about the fall time. This year, North Omaha, our next campus. And, you know, this is going to be in partnership with people we've been in relationship with, you know, for 15 years. Yeah. And so super excited about this. So pray about your involvement, how you want to give financially, how you want to partner just uh, serving wise, as we lock arms, as we rally a team and add, you know, staff, add key resources. And, uh, you know, through this whole process, just praying for God's favor and his hand of blessing as we move forward in 2024. And, you know, and nothing changes, man. This is our heart. We want to see people experience God's best. We want to we want to love God, you know, supremely love people supernaturally. We want to see the five S life all throughout Omaha and beyond. Mm. And in this season, we just feel a very strong invitation to partner with our friends in North Omaha. So excited about that. It's gonna be a wild journey. It's another nine route, but I feel <laughs> very clearly the Lord's inviting us into. So we're looking to you for your prayers, your support. Uh, coming up in this next month, we'll have our Giving Sunday where yeah. you can go in, man, and we'll be able to see God release resource and be a key indicator as we continue these these initiatives in 2024. This is so good, church, because it's not just our vision, it's our vision, man. <laughs> We're better together, come on. It's Let's gonna go. take all of us leaning in in this season and saying, God, how are you inviting me to stretch, man. to get That's uncomfortable, right. yeah. to sew in to what you wanna do? I, I love this quote that I wanna finish with, is if you don't have vision, you'll drift into the future and nobody drifts to a desired That's right. destination. Oh, so good. It's so good. Michael Hyatt said this. And, uh, and so church, as we continue to lean into this season, let's be prayerful. And we are so thankful for your partnership as we continue to carry out the mission that God Amen. has called us to here at Thanks Love so Church. Much. We love you, church. Love you.